Hi, my name is Sam Dhanesh Shekharan and welcome to this Database Lessons video series. In this video, I will talk about the difference between an Oracle user and an Oracle schema. Uh, this is kind of covered, I covered this in the previous video, but then again, I wanted to explain this again. So, Oracle user is an user which is generally uh, attached to a live person or anyone uh, who would use that account to log in okay could be a process that can uses that can use an account to log in okay so for example uh, in a company uh, let's say in a in an accounting team there are like you no know, three people amir amitabh and uh, uh, rajni then these users are live people who would uh, come connect to the database as their username. But then we don't want to keep the data that they would be using under their user account. Why? Because people leave the company, come back, go, whatever it is. So you want to create a different user where you can store the tables or the data under so for that you create some generic user like now it's not tied up to any user's name or anything for example I created this one finance so uh, when I create this user finance it's nothing but another user that's it it has a password if someone wants to log in as finance yes they can log in as finance okay so I'm the DBA, right? I log in as Sam, but then if I want to log in as finance, you know, I can log in as finance. Like, no, uh, if I know the password, I can log in as finance. So, up until this point, finance is nothing but a user. So, a schema starts like a user, but then once a schema user has been created, then objects will be created under that username for example table one and then there could be many tables so this user owns the objects that will be used by these users okay by uh, when I say used by these users means you know this user grants access to these users so in that way this user with the table with with whatever objects this user has is protected uh, by employee turnaround uh, turnover like that so uh, that's the difference which is you know a schema is a generic user which mainly holds data okay so a schema starts as an oracle user right like a regular user schema starts as an oracle user and then it owns data okay if someone wants they can log in as the schema owner finance and they can manipulate the data they can drop the objects okay uh, a DBA can also do but the important thing is schema is like a generic user where the data will be stored uh, it doesn't mean that these users they won't have any data stored under them but then it's not a common practice generally users they don't store any data under them okay even if they store any data they would be temporary and then they would drop them whenever they want but then these would be used by the uh, the database system or the application systems okay so that's the difference between user and schema a user and schema starts uh, just the same user okay user is created as an user a schema is created as an user but then schema under the schema the objects will also be stored could be tables indexes views a lot of things okay so that will hold the data okay thank you for watching